Hello everybody, how are you? Uh, I hope you are all right. Today we are going to describe the last of the political causes of uh, the World War I, that is to say for the beginning of World War I. And uh, this last political causes is the series of international crises that occurred between 1905 and 1913 in different parts of the world, for example, uh, in Africa and in Asia, and also uh, in Europe as well. But first of all, um, it is important to mention that uh, this crisis uh, didn't uh, end up in a factual war because uh, one of the parties involved in the conflict was not strong enough at the moment of uh, the opposition, at the moment of the war. That is to say, the most powerful countries started to uh, gain more and more territories. We are going to talk about the Moroccan crisis. There were three Moroccan crises, but we are going to concentrate on only one, the Near Eastern crisis, and the most important of the international crisis, uh, which was the Balkan Wars. Okay, so let's start with the Moroccan uh, crisis. Uh, the Moroccan crisis um, occurred uh, because of a clash of economic interests between France and Germany. In the 20th century, Morocco was an independent uh, country governed by a sultan. Uh, but um, the problem was that many European countries coveted the territory. Why? Because uh, Morocco was rich in mineral resources, especially iron and manganese. So um, there was a convention, yeah, a convention in order to distribute uh, Morocco for the members of or the representative of all nations uh, which were presented or which was which were present sorry in the convention of Madrid in 1880 so uh, what did they uh, what did they arrange between inverted commas uh, uh, mainly in in Morocco there was uh, a, a, a problem because uh, this uh, agreement of 1880 gave all the, the countries equal opportunities in Morocco. That was unfair for the, for the Moroccan, uh, for, 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 that is to say for the country, but it was uh, established by the most powerful countries. But the problem was that France was the country that had the most uh, load of uh, trade in that uh, part of the world and France wanted a monopoly. Uh, France, Spain, Germany and Great Britain were there. But uh, secretly, France made an agreement with Great Britain uh, because France wanted a kind of monopoly uh, in order to gain that territory. And Great Britain was going to have, uh, as a free land, Egypt. This agreement really infuriated the Germans uh, and because the Germans believed that they also had uh, power there in Morocco, especially when uh, Gibraltar wa was given to Spain. So Germany started to, to be furious against uh, France uh, and they arranged that uh, this clash of economic interests between France and Germany uh, were solved in 1911. How was this conflict sold? This conflict was sold because uh, France uh, made a compromise uh, with Germany and France agreed to cede a portion of the French Congo to Germany. And in that way, Germany was going to abandon all the claim in Morocco. But this ended up in uh, hatred, in, in resentment, uh, that later on, obviously, uh, burst into flame in future occasions. Uh, especially when Germany claimed that the portion she had been given was not the one that she had agreed with uh, France. So, this Moroccan crisis resulted in resentment, in rivalry again, between France and Germany.